check this out. Robofinity Insight Drive. Thermal dash cam. We're going to be reviewing this, running it through the ropes. Uh, this, this is a first. I don't know of anybody that's even manufacturing a dash cam that's thermal. Might be safe to say in a few years, all cars and trucks are going to have this in Okay, here's the deal. I uh, got sent this thermal imaging dash cam. I looked this up on, I tried Googling it, and I'm not seeing hardly any info on this. And if this is what I think it would be, and works the way I'm hoping, this technology should probably get installed in every single vehicle out there, new and old. And what I'm going to do is open it up and install it in my uh, work car, which I've already hit a couple deer with. And I do believe the little that I have read up on it, this thing's going to um, revolutionize my driving to work. I do believe they're going to be marketing it very soon, but... Uh, clear vision in all conditions, precision detection and distance recognition, early warning of potential danger, a very easy install. We're going to find out. And this is called a Insight Drive X1. I do have a thermal scope. If anybody that doesn't understand what thermal imaging does, you need absolutely no light whatsoever and it picks up the heat signature on something. So say if there's a deer running out in front of a car or off to the side, this will pick it up and you'll see it way before you would in the nighttime. And it'll give you an audible and a, a gentle alert what it looks like on the side of the screen. Now we're going to open it up. Take a look at it and install it. Just wow. And there is one video that they provided for installation. It's fairly easy to install. That must be the processor. I take it. And this is the monitor. Magnetic. Obviously, you got a magnetic mount. Get everything out of here. And there's a lot in there. A lot of cable. Yeah, here's the dash mount. That must be the magnet. Yep. And that sticks to your dash. Pretty solid mount. I'm going to tell you right now, just a little bit I've looked at it. Build quality on this thing is outstanding. A bunch of mounts. Oh, well, you even got a... Holy cow, scan disk ultra 32 gig SD card it comes with for recording. Uh, different mounts, velcro, wire ties, cool, and power cords, 12 volt supply, and this would be, man, is that unreal thick gel rubber would be to enclose the camera. And this is going to mount, which I will show you between the hood and the windshield and we got a snake to pull a power supply in between the door and the frame so what i'm going to do is install this in my car and we're going to test it out and like i said if this thing uh is anything like i'm hoping i could picture every car having something like this on it for safety i've been waiting and waiting for a company to make something like this. Just gonna real quick cover some specs and then I'll get it installed. I got this from a company called Robofinity. Algorithm chip inside this, which gives a very efficient ID and a pre-alarm if something's in the road that you wouldn't normally be able to see. Uh, this is a HD touch IPS screen. This will camera will maintain visibility in rain, fog, dust. The night vision on it is for total darkness. You know, there's no light, no infrared, no anything like that. Clear view, even if a car's coming at you with the brights, headlights on, and there's a deer or something standing in the road, you're going to see it. Got AI-powered alerts with gentle audio and ambient light. And then you can adjust alerts for how many feet away at that. So like this thing is like, but 
I don't think anybody's done this yet with a vehicle. And hopefully by the time I get this video uploaded, the website will be up and running. And people want to check this thing out. If it works the way I'm hoping, I couldn't see anybody driving a car or a vehicle without this thing. So let's uh, see when I got it installed. Uh, here's my Pixel Pro 7, and I have the screen hooked up, running an app. can make all kinds of adjustments on it by the settings. Collision warning settings. Let's turn that down for automobiles to 41 feet. Alright, how this thing is mounted is basically this, it's got a metal strip on the back, basically the same size as a cell phone, uh, very robust mounting base with a sticky on it, pretty much set it wherever you want, turn it sideways up and down, holds real steady, got a plug in right here and that's going to wrap around, I got it tucked in the back of the plastic along the windshield and then down below there's the computer or artificial intelligence you want to call it mounted on the side real good video showing just what you need to hook up not too hard and a little bit better view of that uh, cable comes out up here out and into the hood
right here. We got a rock going over. To the camera itself. Just to where it, uh, you can barely see the top of the hood at the bottom of it, right in the corner. And turn it on and go.